It's taken six years and £57 million, and today Rochdale celebrated the opening of six new schools that look set to transform education in the town for kids with both mainstream and special needs. Springside School, Hamer Community Primary, Newland School, Holland Community Primary, Redwood Secondary and this Older Hill Community School have all been officially opened today. Five have been built from scratch and all have been kitted out to make sure the children would have the best facilities and equipment. You've only to look at these buildings to see that they're inspired. Uh, so children coming here, there's a big wow factor uh, and they must think that uh, we believe in them. If you've got special needs, all the, the necessary therapies are there uh, so their needs can be met much better than they've been uh, in the past. Uh, and, but also, importantly, they can, uh, they can integrate. While one of the main focuses of the project was giving children with special needs extra support, bosses say it was also really important to maintain links between children with special needs and those in mainstream schools so that as many children as possible can be brought together to get the best out of their education. Here we see, I think, a benchmark for the rest of the country to look to and see what can happen when you respect children, even those who've got great difficulties, when you listen to them and you involve them in making decisions that affect their lives. Councillors, MPs and heads of the community turned out to witness the Children's Commissioner for England cut the ceremonial ribbon. Well, I think one of the most important philosophies I've heard from the children themselves is they've been asked. Uh, children have been engaged in every stage of the development, from the design of the, uh, the building uh, and, uh, and the fit-out and so on. And that's the really important point. At a time we have so much demonisation of children, it's important to know that these children have got fantastic things to say. The council says that today's opening heralds the beginning of a new era of schooling in the borough and that its Building Schools for the Future programme hopes to continue on to bring in £152 million of new investment in education. Georgia Calvin-Smith... Channel M News.